Good morning children. Welcome to standard 3. Today I am going to teach you EVS and this is your EVS book. Children, today we shall see chapter 5 plants around us. Now tell me children, when you, what do you see when you look out of your window or your balcony? Yes, you see the sky, the sun, trees and different types of plants. So, based on their sizes and the type of stem they have, plants can be divided into different types. We shall see the different types of plants. The first type of plant is called as trees. What are trees? Trees are big tall plants. They live for many years. They have thick brown woody stem called trunk. What is a trunk? Thick brown woody stems are called as trunk. Few examples of trees are mango plant and banyan plant. Moving on to the second type, shrubs. What are shrubs? Shrubs are small bushy plants. They live for few years and they have brown stems. For example, cotton plant and rose plant. The third type of plant is called as herbs. What it is called as? Yes, herbs. What are herbs? Herbs are plants with soft and green stems. Plants with soft and green stems. They live only for few months. Remember children, they live for only few months. For example, mint and coriander. The fourth type of plant is called as climbers. What are climbers? Climbers are plants with weak stem. They usually take support of other plants to climb. For example, pea plant and money plant. The last type of plant is called as creepers. What are creepers? Creepers are also plants with weak stem and they creep along the ground. For example, pumpkin and watermelon. Now children, you must have seen that most of the trees have green leaves. Yes or no? Most of the plants have green leaves. Have you ever wondered why do they have this green color? Yes, it is because of a substance present in these leaves called as chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is very important for plants to make their food. Now, as you all live in your house, what do you do? You live in your house, you grow there. Yes or no children? Similarly, plants have their own habitat. Now, what is a habitat? Habitat is a place where plants live and grow. We shall see the different types of habitats of plants. The first type of habitat is where plants grow on land. Plants grow on land. Plants that grow on land are called as terrestrial plants. These type of plants mainly grow in plains, mountains, deserts and rainforests. For example, in deserts we will find cactus. The second type of habitat is where plants grow in water. These plants are called as aquatic water, aquatic plants. Aquatic plants grow in river, ponds and oceans. For example, lotus and seaweed. Now children, we human beings are dependent on plants for certain things. Let us see what we are dependent on. For example, we get food from plants. We are dependent on on plants for food. What do we get? We get cereals, we get vegetables, fruits, oil and beverages. Secondly, we get fiber from plants. What do we get? We get fiber from plants. What is the use of fiber? We, we use fiber to make fabric and fabric is used to make clothes. Wood. As you all know very well, we get wood from plants. And what do we do with this wood? 
we make wooden furniture and wooden goods. Paper. We very well know children. We get paper from plants. From the pulp of bamboo trees and many other grasses. Remember children, when you save paper, you save a tree. Perfumes. The flowers of jasmine and rose are made are made to make perfumes, are used to make perfumes. Rubber. Rubber is obtained from the latex of rubber plant and we, it is used to make tubes and tires. Oxygen. Now children, we are very well dependent on plants for oxygen. What do they do? They take in carbon dioxide and give us oxygen. The plants clean the air. Remember that children, plants clean the air. So it's very important to plant new trees. Ornamental values. Plants are used to make bouquets, garlands. They are used in house and in gardens. Rainfall. Plants control the rainfall. Do you know that children? How? They form clouds and they cause rain. New plants. Now children, there are some plants, fruits and vegetables that your grandparents may not know about in their own time. Why is it so? It is because of the new technology and advancement in science that we are able to get new types of plants, fruits and vegetables. For example, kiwi, olives and strawberries. These types of fruits were not available before but are now available because of the advancement in technology. So children, today we study plants around us. We studied the different types of plants, the habitat of plants and the new types of plants. Based on this, you will be getting some notes on your school website. Kindly go through it and study well. Thank you children.